Hello, my name is Stephen Ballard and I'm here at a surprisingly busy and as you can probably hear, noisy SBE Offshore Europe 2015 Exhibition Conference in Aberdeen. For me, the state of the industry in the North Sea was summed up by a presentation given by Oil & Gas UK at their breakfast meeting. When the industry body tackled head-on the issues facing the industry in the UK, cost control, efficiency improvement and transformational change uh, was the mantra. I was struck with a slight feeling of deja vu, I have to say, as these were the, exactly the same words that were used at the Asia Oil & Gas Conference earlier this year in Kuala Lumpur. So it seems that the recipe for curing the ills of the industry on a global scale are well understood, uh, and they must be implemented, assuming, of course, there isn't going to be some inexplicable rise in the oil price tomorrow. This all goes to show that whilst the UK may have its own problems, those problems are shared on a worldwide basis as demand continues to weaken. Of course, the crude and shale producers are feeling the pinch because one of the fundamental reasons why the industry is facing these problems is the battle for market share between Saudi Arabia and the US shale producers. That is, of course, if you discount the conspiracy theory that Saudi Arabia and the US are working in concert to bring Putin into line by hitting Russia where it hurts. US shale producers are definitely feeling the pain with an estimated reduction of 91,000 barrels uh, per day down to 5.36 million barrels per day. And meanwhile, uh, OPEC pumped 31.5 million barrels per day in July. The OPEC decision to keep pumping has caused oil prices to fall but there is growing disquiet in OPEC now that is calls for an emergency meeting which has been driven by members that do not have the deep pockets of Saudi Arabia or the UAE. In playing the market share game, it has led to a fall in the US rig count, but has driven a consolidation in the US shale business uh, and a drive to reduce costs, which has worked. So perhaps OPEC's decision has backfired ever so slightly, but it does bring into focus the challenges that the North Sea faces in terms of the need to be competitive. Let's hope that the industry in the UK and Norway heeds the advice of those industry commentators here at Offshore Europe uh, and reduce costs. Meanwhile, let's hope that OPEC reduces production by 2 million barrels per day.